Okay guys, good morning. Yes. Oh, Mbak Siti Iswati ya? Okay. Okay, sure. Let me write down. Okay, other than Mbak Siti Iswati, how are you guys? How is your, 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 your weekend? All good? All good, okay. And I want to ask you, like, uh, did we finish our material last week? Or we still have some? Oh, we still have some. Okay, let me upload the, the last one. Okay, uh, while I'm uploading the, the, the PowerPoint from last week, and then last week we talked about uh, three different types of letters, right? Okay, who can, who can explain us more or who can give us the, 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 the teaching material from last week? What did we learn last week? Please? Can anybody... Mm-hmm. Memo, yes. And then letter to editor. And letter to editor, right? Okay, we, we mentioned three different types of letter. And then let's talk a bit about complaint letter. Complaint letter. And then when we want to talk about complaint letter or when we want to write down a complaint letter, what do we need to do? We talk about, uh, I guess, like more than five steps. What do we need to consider? What do we need to consider when we want to write a complaint letter? How do we write our complaint letter? No one remembers? Really? <laughs> uh huh. Yes, don't write letter with anger. What else? Yang lain coba. What? Don't be typo. Yeah, that that's really important in our writing. Don't be typo. And then don't write the letter with anger or threat, ya. Jangan nulisnya dengan marah-marah atau dengan nada mengancam. What else? Knowing your target is not knowing your tar who your target is. Yes, correct. Don't ambush, ya. Jangan ma mengada-ngada atau jangan membesar-besarkan atau jangan melebelibekan sesuatu yang tidak terjadi. The most important thing is you need to mention the details, right? When who is who was involved in your in your situation and then what date is that? So you almost forget the most important thing about that one, right? And then the next one also, it says like, be direct. Don't tell your personal life to others or to the person that you write to. And then type, because we usually send an email. We don't want to uh, write a letter because it will show us, uh, it will show some professionalism. And then the next one, tadi yang udah dibilang juga, don't, don't, don't embellish. And then... Don't be typo, and then drive home your facts. Ini tadi yang saya bilang yang when the dates and then the name of people that involve in your situation, and then explain what you want to accomplish, what you want to to get after you write this letter. Is it refund, or you want to make things right, atau you want the the manager or the employer inter inter 
interf with the employee, their employee, yeah? Intervene with their employee. And then the next one, let them know what you want if your issue is not addressed. And then always uh, give your contact information and then always the person that always thank the person that you are reading uh, that reading your letter okay uh, when we want to write a complaint letter what kind of tenses that we need to write with complaint letter to simple past tense Yes, yeah, simple past tense atau, and then past progressive or past continuous because you will explain something that already in past, right? So, of course, you're going to write something in the past tense form or in a past progressive form. Okay, can you make one example of past progressive? Past progressive. At the past continuous. How, who can make any example of past continuous or past co uh, progressive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I was. Oh, I was boiling water before I entered the class. Okay. Yes, that's past progressive. Any others? Ada yang lain? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was preparing the breakfast before I leave or before I left. Kalau misalnya past continuous kan yang satunya kan uh, pakai past continuous. Nah setelah itu harus pakai past tense. Yes. Jadi I was preparing. Yes, I was preparing my breakfast before I left. All right. The next one we also talk about the uh, letter to no not letter to con editor. We talk about the business memo. Business memo is the same one with the previous also we talk about the personal letter but then what makes this business memo why do we need to talk about or why do we need to learn about the business memo because we want to know more like how it's like in a formal situation happen right it usually happen from the superior atau orang-orang yang lebih besar jabatannya daripada kita to inform your employee to inform your employee in a short document tidak perlu panjang-panjang lebar suratnya all right okay when we want to write a business memo what kind of tenses do we need to write with future tenses atau future continuous yeah future tenses atau future continuous because we want to talk something that not happened yet Atau will happen in the in the future. That's why we want to write with future tense atau future tense con, uh, future continuous tense. Okay, the last one, the last uh, letter that we want to that we talk about last time. It's about letters to editor. When do you need to send letter to editor, or what does it mean by writing letter to editor? Okay, someone will, maybe you want to give a suggestion to a kind of publisher, right? It could be a magazine, uh, like a magazine or newspaper, yes. So you want to give some suggestion, yes, to give some suggestion to let to the editor. Atau uh, you want, for example, also someone wants to give suggestion about 
his or her own idea, or maybe you want to talk about an issue that you think it's important to address. It co- it could also like you address this one to to the editor, so they can bring up your idea and then let people know like, or it could be any suggestion or recommendation to what we need to do. For example, like COVID, we talk about that one, right? And then this COVID issue, what do you think like people might know or it's important to do? And then it's it's written very short uh, because the space is pretty small in newspaper and then refer the article you are responding and then be concise. Go yang bertele-tele and then always be polite. Okay, so that was the the three types of letter that we talk about and then the last time last we we did we talk about this one yet? Jiren to infinitive and bare infinitive. I guess we finish until this one. Am I right? Or this one? About Jiren. Did we talk about Jiren last week? Not yet? No. Okay, so after writing letters, we usually will use, if we want to write a letter to editor, we usually use Jiren. To infinitive or bare infinitive. Have you ever heard the, these three words? These three things? Yeah, right? Okay, so what is Jiren? What is Jiren? Let's talk about Jiren first. Yes, it's verb plus ing. But does it, does it sit in a sentence as a verb? Apakah dia itu sebagai verb? Meskipun dia. Okay. So, so what is it? As a subject. Yes. Jadi, jiran itu adalah uh, an action verb plus ing, tapi dia itu tidak berfungsi sebagai verb. ya. Yeah? It acts as a as a noun in a sentence, right? Jadi, it's a noun form from a verb and uses ing. And then, it, as an example, tadi ada yang bilang, oh, it, it's sebagai subject. Yes, jiran itu noun dan dia bisa berfungsi sebagai subject di dalam sentence. For example, uh, let's see sample example from A. Swimming is my hobby. Jadi, yang uh, jirannya adalah swimming. The second one, Dancing is my favorite activity I like. Uh, dancingnya itu ada di depan sebelum si helping verb. That's why we call it as a subject of the sentence. And then yang B, dia juga berfungsi, bisa berfungsi sebagai objek di dalam sentence. For example, I love cooking very much. I love cooking very much. Jadi cookingnya itu adalah si jiran. And then she enjoys reading books. I love snorkeling. Ya, jadi dia itu uh, jiran di da, serta, sebagai objek di dalam sentence. And then after that, dia juga bisa datang setelah si preposisi atau kata depan. For example, Dolores is interested in. In itu adalah preposisi. And then going abroad, going is a, uh, a jiran. And then the second example is she always avoids looking at me. She avoid. She always avoids looking at me. Do you think like avoid is like okay? Looking at me, this one. Why do you think like avoids looking at me? Do you think avoid is a preposition? You sure? Jadi avoid itu sebenarnya apa? A verb. Are you sure it's a verb? By, uh, yeah. Jaren. <laughs> uh, avoid is the same also meaning with linking verb. Yeah. Jadi, every time it comes when you see that in a sentence after that it will followed by uh, by linking verb 
yeah so avoid looking at me so why do you think like this one supposed to be like after avoid avoid is not a preposition so it shouldn't be here okay but anyway Doris is interested in going abroad. In here is a preposition and going is a, uh, a gerund. The next one we also can, uh, we also will talk about two infinitives. Two infinitive as you can see in the screen, always followed by two plus infinitive. Infinitive here means verb one atau verb yang belum diapapain, masih bear, tidak ditambahin ed, tidak ditambahin s, tetap seperti se semula for example start atau cook atau learn study no matter what the subject is for example she always love to study that's the example we we will not write she always uh, she always uh, sorry she always loves to study jadi itu tidak benar ya jadi selalu diikuti to plus verb one for example mrs monica tends to come late to come here is a to infinitive. The detective managed to arrest the suspicious person. Do you think when we write Jiran, we can also change that to to infinitive? Bisa nggak Jiran itu kita ubah sebagai to infinitive in a sentence? Bis. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first answer, yeah, we can. But then, we not always can do that. Jadi, nggak semua jiran itu bisa diubah. Karena dia akan mempengaruhi maknanya. Nah, contoh yang bisa diubah, coba lihat yang jiran, yang example number, example B. For example, I love cooking very much. I love to cook very much. Is it the same meaning? Are they the same meaning? Yeah, right? She enjoys reading book or she enjoys to read book. Is it the same meaning? The same meaning, but then we usually use uh, reading yeah, after enjoys. Okay, I love snorkeling or I love to snorkel. Yeah, right? Okay, so that's about jiran and infinitive. How about this one? Do we need to write jiran or do we need to write to infinitive? What do you think? Take your time. Okay, siapa yang bisa um, um, siapa yang bisa menjawab nomor satu? Silakan dibaca. Mm -hmm. Okay, mbak. Mm -hmm. I don't fancy going yes i don't fancy going out tonight yes jawaban yang pertama itu adalah going out yang kedua siapa yang bisa yo oke okay, mbak yeah she avoided telling him about the plan tadi ini ya yang avoid itu bakalan dijadikan uh, Setelahnya bakalan ada jiran. Alright, number three. Number three. Oke, okay, Mbak. I would like to... One more time. I would like to coming. I would like... Okay, I would like coming to party with you. Okay, one thing that we want to we want we want to know after you write I would like it never comes with jiran ya. Dia selalu datang uh, pakai to infinitive. So the answer is I would like to come to the party with you. All right, apa number three. Number three. Eh, uh, number four. Number four. Sorry. Number four, siapa yang bisa number four? Number four. Oke, okay, Mbak. 
Yes, silakan number four. Yes, he enjoys having a bath in the evening. Yes, itu jawabannya having. Number five, silakan. Okay, Mbak. Yes, she kept talking ya. Jadi, kept itu atau keeps always followed by uh, Jiran. Number six. Okay, Mbak. Learning, speaking English. Learning, for itu kan verb. Learning, verb, ing never comes with, never followed by Jiran directly ya. Jadi, setelah udah melihat I am learning, yang verb, verb ing, we always put to infinitive. Jadi, bagaimana seharusnya itu? I am learning. Yes. I'm, I am learning to speak English. Yes. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Do you mind? Okay. Silakan. Do you mind to give me a hand or do you mind give, giving me a hand? Yes, giving. Do you mind giving me a hand? Itu jawabannya giving. Yeah, itu giving. Next one. Okay. She helped me to carry or to carrying. She helped me to carry my to carry my sweet cases. I thought she helped me carrying my sweet cases to carry. To. She helped me to carry my sweet case. Yeah. Sweet case. It is sweet cases. Yeah. It's auto copper. Number nine. Number nine. Okay, well, uh, I have finished cooking. Yes, I have finished cooking. Come and eat. Yes, cooking. Num last one, number 10. He decided, he decided studying at all to study. To study, yeah. He decided to study. Yes, itu jawabannya to study. Ini juga bisa kalian lihat lagi di halaman, uh, sorry, di halaman body modul, halaman 3.17 ya, eh 3.37. Jadi ada beberapa kata kerja yang memang tidak diikuti oleh to infinitive, tapi diikuti oleh jiran. Coba buka halaman 3.7. 3.37 3.37 For example, admit Appreciate And then avoid Fancy, yang tadi udah kita jawab ya Ada imagine, ada give up Ada mind Juga di sini yang seperti jawaban Number 7 Do you mind giving? Jadi Ya, 3.37 3.37 Yes Ada risk ada quit, for example quit. Can you give me any example with quick? Uh, quit. I quit with Jiran. Kira-kira apa itu? I yes, I quit smoking. Okay. How about uh, I? Oh, finish udah ya. How about involve? Involve. Gimana itu? Involve. Ada yang bisa bikin involve? <laughs> I don't like something that involves. 
<laughs> Reading, oke. Okay. Alright, nah yang tadi kan uh, yang jiran. Setelahnya, coba di the next page, 3.37, we can see like um, some verbs that we always, not always, we usually see in our book. And then these words always comes, uh, always followed by to infinitive. For example, agree, aim, uh, and then appear, arrange, ask. Jadi, for example, I want to ask you, I want to ask something something and then it always comes after uh, always comes before infinitive ya jadi this jadi kata-kata ini contoh-contoh yang bisa kita buat di dalam sentence kita all right the next one we have gerund to infinitive and bare infinitive so the next one what we want to know for example a to infinitive or gerund same meaning jadi ini tadi yang saya tanya, bisa nggak kira-kira jiran itu kita buat sebagai infinitive? Yes, the answer is yes, and then they still have the same meaning. For example, the interviewer began to ask question. Nah, ini began to ask. ya yeah? To ask itu adalah infinitive. Nah, how do we need to change that? How do we change that into invin- uh, to jiran? For example, the interviewer began asking the question. And these two, ex- these two examples have, uh, still have the same meaning. Jadi, yes, we can change it and then they still have the same meaning. The next one, the next example, she starts crying when she heard about the news. Atau, she starts to cry, crying and to cry when she heard about the news. They are still have the same meaning. And then also we have Jiran. And to infinitive, jiran itu maksudnya something that general, in general, and then to infinitive it's something uh, like a bit specific, what you want to say in a specific way. For example, oh, I love swimming. Swimming is a general thing, right? But then if you say, I like to swim in Pulau Beach, or I like to swim in some, like a name, like really specific to that beach or to, to that swimming pool, And then you can say, I like to swim in blah, blah, blah during summer or in summer. And then the next one, I prefer reading novel than news. Prefer reading. Itu adalah jurang. And then if you want to change, I like to read Harry Potter. Jadi you give uh, a specific name, what you want to do or what you want to read, something like that one. That's uh, peng- itu penggunaan jiran to infinitive, and then the next one they have uh, used jiran when no object, and then we uh, we use to infinitive when we ha- uh, with object. For example, oh the officer allows smoking here. The officer allows smoking here, and then the next one, the officer allows the staff to smoke. Here, ya yeah, the staff itu kan itu ada ob- objeknya. Jadi setelah datang si objek, si to infinitive juga datang. Next one, they advise walking to town. They advise us, as di sini adalah si objek. They advise us to talk to uh, to walk to town. The next sentence number the next one, they encourage doing the test. No object and then we use children. And then they encourage us to do the test. As this itu adalah si, si object. And then the next one. We use jiran or to infinity but different meaning. Nah, kita bisa gunakannya si jiran and si, si infinity. But they, they don't have the same meaning. Ini yang kebalikan si A tadi. For example, forget. Untuk the word forget, by the way, you can see your book also, ya. Yeah? Page three point. Let me check. Three point forty seven. Three point. Three point forty. Tiga titik empat puluh. Kalian juga bisa lihat buku kalian. For example, forget. Nah, kalau jiran itu arti forget here when we want to use jiran, it to look back in the past. 
and then to infinitive it means to look into the